The frustrations of last weekend, have you got over those? Yeah, it's for good or bad, we're moving on quick. It's something that we, you know, we started the season with a plan. You know, we're going to do our best to, to see it through. It's, it's football, you know, it can be so frustrating. It can be so, it's every emotion. Every emotion in a week we've gone through, can see the last minute penalty. A fantastic win at Stoke to the pain of QPR. That's a week in football. What are we at the end of the week? The same team as that started the week. So hopefully we go into the Rotherham game with equally as buoyant and looking forward to the game. Is that why you love football though? Those frustrations followed by those highs and lows? And emotions are important in the game, aren't they? It's, it's, it's what you go to as a manager. Do you know the disappointment of, you know, everything because the culmination is three points. And when people get three points in the modern day game, everything's all right. But the reality of it is, it's not really all right, depending on how you get the points. You know, for me as a manager, I enjoy us playing well. I enjoy us at the minute competing at this level well, which is what we're doing. We know that can change. And I enjoy the players getting satisfaction out of going into games, believing they can win. Uh, how are your squad fixed up? Um, Gavin Massey obviously limped off last weekend. Yeah, Gavin's not good. I think we'll be announcing something on Gavin soon. He's going to be out for a period of time, which is very disappointing. Michael Jacobs obviously doesn't make the game tomorrow, which is disappointing because the two boys have started the season really well. Um, like every other member of the squad, very important to us, but they're not available, so it offers opportunities for other people. Yeah, it gave an opportunity for Josh Windass last week, and how did you think he performed? Again, you're coming in for your first games. Josh is a very good young player. Do you know, the pressure comes on people now to play well immediately. That's <laughs> not gonna. Not that Josh didn't play well, by the way. Do you know, but that's the pressure of football today. So. Josh is getting integrated into the group like the rest of them are. And over a period of time, he'll be a very strong player for the club. So if Josh is selected tomorrow, I'm sure he'll do a good job. Uh, we've talked about how you've got a new back four. This, well, you, you've had to shuffle around a few players with injuries and new players coming in. They've had a couple of, well, three or four weeks to, to bed in now. How do you feel that they are performing as a, as a unit? I just keep going. It's football. It's, it's, I don't get high or low depending on the result or... Goals conceded, we conceded quite a few goals early on. Then the last two games we've only conceded what we believe was one goal. And that was a very debatable one. Mm. So, we're doing okay at the minute, but that could change tomorrow against Rotherham. I think the lads just come into work every week, you know, wanting to improve. Can we make ourselves better for the next game? And over a period of time, relationships develop. Cedric and Shay have now played five games together. I'm mm. sure the relationship's getting stronger. Christian Bolton's got new people in front of him. You know, we started the season with Darren Gibson, it was then Callum Connolly and then Lee Evans. So these relationships are building at the club and five league games in. We're absolutely delighted with what we're doing and where we're at and hopefully we can carry on the way we are. Uh, loan window closes today. Uh, we saw uh, Devante Cole go out yesterday. Are there any expecting ins or outs? I listen, the club were always active. You never know what we might bring in, you know, and obviously there'd be one or two possibly might go out. That's football. If it, if it, all parties involved are happy, it's something that we'll do. If we're not, we'll happily go on. I do believe our squad's in a very good place. I think we're strong. I think with Dan Bain coming back, Taron Gibson coming back, Michael Jacobs, still Gavin Massey coming back, I think we've got good quality and cover all over the pitch, but you never know. Um, Rother um, yeah, Rotherham, you've already faced them once before. Does that League Cup game provide us any insight into what you may face on Saturday? No, not particularly other than Rotherham won the game well. You know, we felt we played quite well in the game, but obviously Rotherham progressed. Um, no, not at all. It'll be, a, in my opinion, it'll probably be vastly different team sheets. One from our point, and I'm sure from Paul's point as well. You know, two teams that have come up from League One and both doing very well at the minute. You know, both teams will be looking forward to the game. I'm sure both teams believe it's a game they can win. Yeah, it's League One fixture last week, last year. Um, you obviously know each other at the time, sides you know well. Oh yeah, we know Paul, the staff, Richie Barker, all the lads really well. They're, a very, they're, a, they're obviously a good football club, Rotherham. You know, they've been not dissimilar to Wigan once or twice, i.e. promotion and relegation. You know, like ourselves, they're looking to sustain a foothold in the division now. He's done an outstanding job at Rotherham. The run they went on during their mid part of the season looked like they could actually push for automatics at one stage. Uh, went up like a lot of teams enjoy going up at Wembley. I think Paul's becoming a little bit of a cult hero at the club. As he manages the club, he's managing it really well. and They're a very good side. Um, just, a, I suppose, a quirk of the, the cup draw. If you had beaten Rotherham, you'd have an interesting game against Everton. Do you kind of 
look at that from a personal point of view and thought you might like to give them a, them a crack. Do you mean give them a good bean? You mean, yeah. Don't, yeah. No, not at all. It's, <laughs> really? You know, the, the cup is what it is. You know, we go into that competition. I'm sure our fans know, you know, that we treat it as a competition that with respect, with the respect the cup deserves, but also with the fact that we will give players minutes that can see them coming towards the first team. So, you know, we're out of that competition. You know, Rotherham got through. They had a, was at the game the other night. They played very well at Goodison. It was a good competitive game. And I'm sure Paul and the staff are looking forward to the game tomorrow. Uh, we'll see if we go into international break next week. What does that give you an opportunity to do? I don't know yet. I haven't made my mind up with the players. For some reason, we have big breaks and different stuff and the breaks aren't sitting well with me. Mm. You know, I don't know why we're going to give lads four and five days off. I just can't get my head around it, to be honest. So let's see what tomorrow brings and then we'll see what the rest of the week brings. Uh, but uh, it will Greg will be going away with this country, do you? That's, that's oh, yeah. Be. All the lads who have been selected will be going away and that's fantastic for any club to get players with international recognition. It's great for the player and the club, albeit it's disruptive, albeit it can lead to other stuff, but listen, getting selected for your country is an honour and I'm sure everyone who's been involved at our club like that will be very proud to be involved.